Edo State governorship election in 2024 may still be far, but political players who have an interest in the election are already working on the ground to achieve their political goals. One of the deciding factors in the governorship election is the senatorial district of the politician vying to be the governor of the state. The current Edo State governor, Godwin Obaseki, hails from Ori Edo local government area in Edo South senatorial district of the state. At the end of his second term, in 2024, which marks the end of his tenure, the governorship seat in Edo State is expected to be zoned to another senatorial district of the state. Although the zoning in most states of the Federation is usually a gentleman agreement amongst the three senatorial districts, which is expected to be honored by political leaders. Ahead of the 2024 governorship election in the state, the people of Edo Central Senatorial District are already agitating to produce the next governor of the state. According to a report by Guidian, the leaders of the Edo Central Senatorial District are already agitating to produce the next governor of the state after 40 years. The current deputy governor of the state, Philip Shaibu, is projected to take over from his boss because of his loyalty to Governor Gordon Obaseki. Philip Shaibu demonstrated his loyalty to Governor Obaseki during his face-off with Adam Sushomole, the immediate past governor of the state. Many people of the state have already projected Philip Shaibu as the right politician to take over from his boss because of his loyalty and contributions to the development of the state. The deputy governor had earlier served as a minority leader of Edo State House of Assembly and member of House of Representatives. This is why many people are projecting him as the next governor of the state. With the issue of zoning, which is already becoming an issue in the state, the hope of seeing Philip Shaibu as the next governor of the state might not be possible because of the demand of the people of Edo Central Senatorial District to produce the next governor of the state. Remember that after the return of democracy in 1999, the first governor of the state, Lucky Benedio, hails from Oriado, local government area in Edo South Senatorial District. After the turn of Lucky Benedio, the next governor of the state, Adam Sushomole, hails from Edo North Senatorial District, and current governor of the state, Godwin Obaseki, hails from Edo South. The current deputy governor of the state, Philip Shaibu, hails from Edo North Senatorial District, who had already ruled the state for eight years during Adam Sushomole's tenure. The agitation of Edo Central Senatorial District, who has not ruled the state, it may likely make it difficult for Philip Shaibu to emerge the next governor of the state. <laughs> that part that says gentleman's agreement, that one is really interesting. If um, that gentleman's agreement um, is meant to be honored, then INEC does not have any duty, then INEC um, should not waste their time. I don't believe that uh, gentleman's agreement, the people have to choose their leader. You know, INEC has always stated it during the Edo 2020. INEC even stated he, he, the, he, INEC um, was telling the, 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 the gladiators, the actors, the, the candidates, that all of you, rather than this fight in the propaganda, counter allegations the dramas back and forth everything that they should just know that it's not all about them is an opportunity for the electorate to choose their leader and the electorate choose based on performance based on competence based on uh um, what they've seen that these leaders have done their achievements so uh you know in this uh report now it was talking about um, gentleman's agreement that because that they believe that it's a gentleman's agreement that because Philip Shaibu has been very loyal to God, you know, God in Obaseki, no one is disputing that. We've seen how well Philip Shaibu has worked closely with Obaseki. We even, you know, we got a report um, just before the Edo election, that time propagandas uh, were going up and down. It was revealed how Adam Sushomole initially tried to use Philip Shaibu, convince Philip Shaibu to speak against God in Obaseki so that he would be impeached. That was during um, his first term, but Philip Shaibu said it wasn't happening. That That's loyalty because he could have betrayed Obaseki at that point in time. And the uh, debate that was put before Philip Shaibu, Oshomale told him that, don't worry, if you, he may, what the implication is that if you make move to impeach Obaseki, you're going to become um, governor of the state. But we saw that uh, Philip Shaibu turned all of that down. 
everyone knows no one is doubting disputing anything about uh, questioning his loyalty he's been very loyal but if obaseki has finished obaseki um <laughs> we know they, they are working together governor and deputy obviously shaibu believes in all of obaseki's ideas his philosophy everything that's why they are working together if not philip shaibu would not have moved to pdp after all of the dramas after everything apc did so i'm um, just uh, i'm stating that uh, <laughs> gentleman's agreement anyway but the main thing right now that um, is being talked about is that the zoning the election comes in 2024 that the zoning uh because of the zoning philip shaibu may not have the chance to become the governor of the state well if he contests if that time comes and is interested and he puts himself forward and contests 2024 if the people want him they will vote for him it's all, all about the vote we saw what happened with the edo governorship election even uh after apc screened obaseki out we we saw that it wasn't about the party the people wanted obaseki it was obaseki they chose their choice was obaseki they settled for obaseki so regardless of what happened so with the zoning um with zoning <laughs> i really don't know how that will play out too it's some persons might say it's very early to speculate but um the people of Edo State, they, they've already seen and experienced Governor Gordon Obaseki's um, tenor. Obaseki himself, he's been asked this question very diplomatically. And he answered it very well that he will not impose anyone on uh, as governor on um, Edo State. He will not impose anyone on Edo people that the people should choose for them. He doesn't want a situation after they will say, is the person you put there. That is why we're suffering all of this. So with history down, it's shown that um, all of the different um, senatorial districts had had someone from there becoming governor. The likes of uh, Adam Soshomole, Igbenedio was the first governor since 1999 from the return of democracy. And it was now Adam Soshomole. And uh, now it's um, Governor Godwin Obaseki. And he's finishing his um, tenor with the argument right now is that um, Philip Shaibu's zone have already had a share. Philip Shaibu and Adam Soshomole, they are all from the same senatorial district. Maybe that was why Adam Soshomole thought that um, he could actually manipulate Philip Shaibu. Well, my people, if you've got uh, a different opinion, please uh, feel free to drop your comment down below in the comment section. We're more than happy to receive it. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button. And if it's your first time, you're very welcome. Please hit on the subscribe button till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.